What's up, my kings, queens, and trolls of YouTube? This is your girl, Queen C, and I'm back from a hellish week of people prying into my parts and all that kind of stuff, and I I'm glad it's over. I will say that I am glad it's over, and I'm glad to be back to talking to you guys. I have an Ask Queen C that I want to read today because I was scrolling through my emails, and I stumbled across this one, and I just thought, hmm, wow. Now, you guys know, um, I, I talk to you guys a lot because... I want to help people you know I want to um, be an open book to people you know so they can learn from my experiences but outside of you guys I don't just run my mouth to, to random people and tell people my business because a lot of times when you share stuff with people they try to find ways to use it against you when they're haters and I've stumbled across quite a few haters in my lifetime and I've stumbled across people who have tried to use information that I shared with them um, to try to throw it in my face and so with that being said you know when I share stuff with you guys I'm really sharing it with you guys because I'm hoping that you know it'll do some good instead of giving it to somebody to try to do some bad so anyway here we go hey queen it took me some time to come up with the nerve to write you even though I can be anonymous it's still a little embarrassing to talk about I was diagnosed with PTSD after being in a place where multiple people were shot and killed it's been over two years and I'm doing a little better but there are still some things that I'm afraid to do that give me anxiety my issue is I don't want to be dependent on drugs so I'm doing my best to handle this without medication the problem is friends and family think I should just be over it they tell me to just take the drugs like it's nothing so I can do things they feel I should be able to do. I just want to heal on my own in my own time. Do you have any thoughts you could share with me? Signed, I'm still going to stay anonymous. Actually, yes, I do. Um, first of all, let me just say, you know, I, I'm, I'm very sorry for your experience. Um, that, that has have to be had to be very very awful to see, witness, and experience something like that. So I'm, I'm very sorry for that. Um. And honestly, you know, I, I'm choosing to read this email because I too was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, which is also known as PTSD. And this was a while ago. I, I will give you a little bit of history. I'm not going to go too deep into it because it's still too much. But um, basically, um, my nephew um, passed away in a car accident. And the accident that he had gotten into... Um, basically I was on scene to see it was myself my husband and my youngest child he had just left a party where he was at with my oldest daughter so I was on my way to pick up my oldest daughter when I stumbled across this accident and I had no idea that my nephew was the one in the car and when I say that I was like one of the first vehicles on scene to this accident I, I i kid you not so it bothered the hell out of me number one that this happened number two that you know i didn't know that it was him so i could have gotten out the car and got to him because by the time i realized it was him i was heading back in that direction and at that point all the police had arrived and they had shut that whole road down and i couldn't get to him i tried so you know it bothered me so either way um after all this happened you know I I, I, I kind of you, you're kind of like in the twilight zone that's the best way for me to describe it you're you're like in the twilight zone so you know all these things are going on you know like I said my husband was there for the for the scene my youngest daughter was there for the scene and then my oldest daughter they were only three months apart they grew up like brother and sister so everybody is impacted by the situation and then of course you have his mom she's impacted by the situation so me you know being um the type of person I am I I, I just you know every day I just was trying to to, to do whatever I had to do I, I, I was busy I, I didn't really like sleep you know I, I was just crazy I was crazy as hell I'm not even gonna lie I was crazy as hell and you know through going through all this and, and then you know going with through the arrangements and all that kind of stuff and having kids at my house it was people at her, her the mom's house and like you know just all I'm all over the place once things started settling down I don't know what the hell was wrong with me but I kid you guys not I probably was in the emergency room about 15 times um I, I couldn't I was having problems breathing I was having problems swallowing I felt like my tongue was swollen I felt like you know all, all like I, I, I would jump up in the middle of the night I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat no food I lost like about 25 pounds I'm, I'm I'm telling you it was the craziest thing ever and I was going to all these doctors and 
Nobody could really tell me what was wrong with me. But at the same time, I did not tell them necessarily what happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling them my symptoms, but I did not tell them, you know, what I witnessed, what happened. And, you know, like I was having like these reoccurring nightmares and stuff. Like It was just it, just crazy. So finally, I went to a doctor and the doctor told me, you know, what's been going on with, with your life because it sounds like you're suffering from anxiety blah 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 so i finally sat down and i told him everything that was going on and he said you have post-traumatic stress disorder and of course they gave me medications they gave me xanax some other stuff to to make me go to sleep and whatever the case may be and i didn't take it i didn't take it because like the person writing in said you know Everybody does not want to be on medication. Everybody does not want to take medication. Medication, certain medications can become very addictive. Now, if you need medication and you have to take it, I'm not downing you. You got to do what you need to do to be able to function in life and be healthy. But some people don't like to take medication. I'm one of those people. I don't like to take it. And I don't like to take things that are possibly addictive because addiction runs in my family. So, you know, I, I didn't take the medication. And like like the person writing in said, you know, their family, their friends expected them to do things that they were uncomfortable with doing. Same here. Same here. Let me tell you something. I had I, I, I was having panic attacks even driving. Like I, I I didn't feel comfortable driving. Going down that that road made me nauseous, made me sick to my stomach. It, it was like a buildup and I was putting on this front for everybody so that they wouldn't see like that I was literally like panicking inside. Like I was like going crazy. And you know, it's it's like, you know, at the end of the day, people have their own agendas, they have their own motivations, they have their own thoughts and feelings and views on everybody else. Because a lot of people are selfish they're self-centered and they're selfish so when they see a person they think a person is supposed to stop drop and roll when they want something when they want to do something or when they're going through something they don't acknowledge the fact that this person has their own battles and their own demons that they're trying to fight so all i can say to you um my subscriber is you know do what you feel is right for you if you don't want to take medication you need to, you need time to heal and and slowly work yourself into doing things again and 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 slowly get yourself back to your normal do that to help what anybody else says a healthy you is the best you and if somebody can't respect you trying to get on that track to hell with them if somebody is trying to force you to take medications that can possibly be addictive and you don't want to the hell with them now as a suggestion you know, my ex-husband actually told me that I should try some, like, meditation and stuff like that. And I tried it a little bit. Um, it helped me a little bit, but I, I didn't stick with it. But perhaps that might be something that you might want to look into, you know, um... Just, just trying to meditate and clear your mind and stuff like that. I'm a very strong-willed person. And, um... Once I'm challenged to do something, like I, 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 I'm like one of those people that I'm always in like battle mode with anything. Like once it becomes a challenge, I'm like, you're not going to get the best of me. I'm not going to let nothing get the best of me. Not no PTSD, not no people, not nothing. Like if it's a challenge, I'm like, let's get it. Let's get it. You know, I'm on like, mm, mm, what? <laughs> so yes i'm crazy but that's how that's how i kind of like defeated it and every now and again the the feelings of anxiety it, it will resurface but i it's mind over matter for me so i will tell myself mm -mm, nope you don't have those feelings that's just that's just that stuff trying to mess with you again you know go ahead block it out tune it out and it may not be that easy for everybody like i said some people do need that medication and i'm not knocking you i'm not knocking you if you need to take the medication for your post-traumatic stress disorder you go ahead you get your cup of water and you take your medication i'm not i'm not knocking you for that but for some people medication is not always the answer and for those that you know don't want to take medication like i said go try some natural remedies um I, there was something that I had taken. I can't remember the name of it. I'll post it in the comments when I go home um, so you can um, 
see what it is but it was like a natural common drop um that i got from whole foods that helped relax me i would put it in my tea and stuff like that like anything just to relax my nerves that wasn't like you know addictive or anything like that that that's what i chose to do like i said a little bit spurts of meditation here and there and basically just taking my time and not allowing anybody to pressure me into doing anything i didn't want to do if i didn't want to drive if i didn't want to go somewhere if i didn't want to be out in public i just won't do it i won't do it i'm not gonna let anybody make me feel guilty for trying to take care of me I have two children I have a husband they come first so I need to do the best that I can do to take care of me so I could be a good me to them bottom line you got to do the same thing be the best person you could be for yourself to hell with everybody else's opinion um, I hope my thoughts helped you I hope my thoughts helped anybody else this might be out there suffering with post-traumatic stress disorder um, join the club I think a lot of people suffer from it and don't even realize it um, but, you know, talk to your professional. Also, if you have any other questions or you want some other options and some other suggestions aside from just, you know, drugs that, you know, you can possibly get addicted to, go talk to your healthcare professional. And also sit your family down or write them an a, a email or a letter or something and just letting them know, like, back the hell up. Back up off me. Let me be me. Let me do what I need to do to adjust. I'm the one that went through this experience, not you. You guys, people around you, that's another thing. People around you are supposed to be your support system they cannot support you in your journey to try to get yourself the, the to, to the place that you once were then they don't need to be around you at all um that's all i have you know if you want to email me you can email me at queen at gmail.com like me on facebook at the queen sees high follow me on instagram snapchat and twitter at queen Krishanda. and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to me guys peace and until the next time